What's up, everybody? It is a girl, Magnolia, and I'm back again with another video. Period. If you sneer you, do not play with me because I'm not the one. Okay, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before anything because trust me, y'all finna like this video. I am the best in the third game. I could say that with a exclamation mark at the end, not even a period. Because listen, the magic that I have in these fingers and in these eyeballs and in this brain, I only get the flies of the fly. We have baby stuff, we have accessories, we have clothes for me, of course. Today's video was brought to you by, not sponsored, but brought to you by the Savers in Vegas. I've been pretty much holding on to everything that I got from my thrift trips out there and just so I could come to you guys with these videos. So without further ado, let's get into it, baby. Here's our bag. So the first thing we have at the top is this hat. It gives me very like Western, but of course, like I wanna wear this with like a cute baby suit. You feel me some seashell lich. Period, do not play with me, I'm not one of them. The next item that we have is this little top here. This is so freaking cute. You guys know me. I love my simple 90s little Y2K tops. And this one did make it into the bunch. Hopefully you guys could see, but she's like a netted material. Very cute little spaghetti strap. Look at that tag. Okay, period. But I definitely see somebody swagging this out, giving it what it's supposed to be. The next item we have is actually for Milo. I thought this was super cute. It is this Pampers freaking little jersey situation. Shout out to Pampers, shout out to Brazil, period. Cute little t-shirt as you can see, so adorable. It has the number 10 on the back. So we love this for Milo. The next item that we have is this really cute little basic top. She speaks for herself. She's just a little spaghetti camel moment. Like, go on this in the army. Do what you gotta do, sis. Like, I really like this. I feel like this is a cute basic to have. I'm definitely into camo. So, we love that. So, shout out to her. The next item I have is this top. I thought it was so adorable. It is something about it just was telling me, like, this is just you need to have this it's like a denim color but it's not denim and that's what i like about it it's really soft really stretchy and then it's like could be an off the shoulder situation and then the buttons have like these little diamond little studs it's just super cute to me i just felt like it would be a really cute top The next item we have, I really like it. My mom told me that it seemed like it would be a little too short, but I guess we're both gonna see when we try it on. But I think it's super cute. I feel like this with like some just plain clean Air Forces would be so freaking cute. Like again, you guys know me, I like effortless, especially being a mom, I don't like having to do the most. So that's why I do like dresses. Well, she is sleeveless. She has a zipper right here. It's just like the little detailing. Obviously, it has a little pocket here in the front. Like if it was a sweater, then it has a hood, and then it has these little grommet detailing ties up. It's a comfortable material, but yet it does give that like sexy shortness to it not too tight, but like a nice little like sits on the body. I really, really like this. Next, I have this, which is so freaking cute. This is the front. It's obviously open to where you can see a little bosom, like a little cow neck moment. These are the straps that would go around. You guys are going to obviously see in the try-on. I'm actually happy to see what it looks like in the try-on as well. Definitely love this piece. This is giving me like disco vibes slash again like sexy mom. Okay. The next 
thing is that this I see people always finding these which I understand because back in the day in the 2000s camis were super popping especially like little lace trim ones I do like ones that actually have something to give other than just the cami lace vibe so with her she's like a very pistachio little mint color which I really like I want you guys to see it has lace detailing at the top at the bottom it kind of layers but also has that lace going around I just thought this was more cute than like the average again camisole which I figured somebody would really appreciate this this is old Charlotte Russe as well so got that The next is another top for my baby when she can actually grow into it. It is this Virgin Mary t-shirt. I thought it was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. It was also like $2. So I was like, oh yeah, that's so freaking adorable. I invest in certain items that, you know, are worth her growing into and me just saving to the side till she gets there. The next item is super wise, okay? This is like, I want to hear some Jennifer Lopez playing in the background and go to a club, sweat all my makeup out and come out with fucking dark eyeliner underneath my eyes because that, that's just what this is. Still cute, still cute. It is this sequined tank dress. So freaking cute to me. Like, I definitely feel like sequins are very Y2K, like... The crazy thing is I don't see people really rocking sequins like that. So that is a tip from the master. Sequins are definitely it. It's like green, like a turquoise, a blue, and then silver. So I just really love this. I hope it fits like how I think it is. If not, I'm going to have to post it to sell. I'm excited about this. Okay, period. <laughs> The next item that we have, I just really liked the colors and what it was giving. It has that high halter neck and then the colors and then like the little paisley print. So I really, really like this, especially my hair being orange. It has like some orange in there. I just felt like this was just a cute little basic to have. I'm sure I will have some type of little 2000s bottom to bring the look together. The next is another little tank top. I just want to get into more muted colors. Let me not say muted because I'm not going for like the easy vibe. I'm going for like the Y2K vibe. This, as you can see, burnt orange. It has this design. So it ties around the neck. And then isn't this freaking cute? Like, look at that. Look at that. And then it has like some beads right there. And then it just ties around your neck. This is also old Charlotte Russe. This, it's tied because I already tried this on. It goes at a slant, which I really like. Like the hemming at the bottom is not straight. As you can see, it goes. So I was just playing around with it. Like, am I supposed to tie it? Because then it's like slit on both sides. I really, really love this top. Like this and like some army green cargos is like the vibe that I'm going for. The next my mom actually found and I almost was going to pass it up but I believe that this is going to fit really cute and if not it's still a really cute dope piece. It is by some brand called In and definitely that 90s tag that y'all love and it's like this black and white print and I like it because it's not like a cow print or anything. It's just like a really cute little 90s print that is just super fire so like you can add a pop of color you can make it a bright color or you can make it like a burgundy situation it's just so much you could do with this definitely a cute cop really like this so shout out to my mom for finding that The next item is another accessory. This is so freaking bomb and this was $6. Like, bro, it is this gray bag and it has these little studs in pink, green, and turquoise and then silver. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
look at that look at that this is so freaking cute like this also reminds me of like the club scene like ooh, 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 ooh. there's some change in here oh how much money i got and it has a tag that is actually so so real so right and i feel like i've seen clothing with this tag so great condition on the inside super cute handbag love it next we have this skirt it's by the brand lee so i love that i do love to see certain things like that so this is like a really cute high waist little skirt i wouldn't say mini but it'll definitely fit like a cute little length the material and the shape of it i could tell it's not gonna look boxy or anything it's just like this dark denim but definitely giving me 2000s vibes the next item that we have is milo's and it is so freaking cute it is this ralph lauren polo little jumper and i just thought the colors of it was so cute i thought the little ruffles and the collar was super adorable polo on my body the next item is an accessory omg look at her go like of course we've seen these bags before that have like little sequins but this one's just so cute because it's like a square shape and then also the sequins on it are like different shapes there's like rectangles squares i just love this like i just feel like this thrown with any outfit is gonna make the look like complete and as you can see by the tag it was only five dollars five dollars the next item is a bra I picked up this bra like last minute. I just was walking through the aisle past the lingerie section and I seen it. I didn't even know what size it was, but it was just giving. And what it was giving was like 90s sexy 90s lingerie and back in the day this is what they would wear some high-waisted underwear you feel me and that was sexy and that was cute and that's how i felt I actually paired this with like some really cool like cheetah punk little straight leg 90s pants and then this blazer over and it was such a look what are those things called a bralette i wore it as like a little bralette situation and it was giving super sexy and cute and just without doing the most you feel me because like someone like me i'm not just gonna be out here with something that's like oh this is supposed to be sexy but like i'm gonna make a little granny bra sexy so stop playing with me super fire the next is so freaking cute i'm actually so excited to try this on with you guys i hope i get taken out on a freaking date or something because that's what this is giving this is giving like let's go to a salsa dance class or let's go to a poetry reading like something of that sort where it just gotta be classy and i just gotta be sexy and show up in this dress y'all let me tell you the brand is cache Again, y'all know I'm not a name dropper or brand dropper unless it counts. And Cache is definitely one of those. It has like some built-in cups. So that's good because you feel me? You don't really got to worry about wearing a bra. Especially because the straps are so skinny. It just has like this flowering going all the way down. And then into the bottom, it's like some fringe. And then it slants, which I think is so cute and flattering. Not to mention the back also has flowers but i think that that is super cute attention to details especially because it has like some little beading inside of the flowers as well and i just feel like the material of it and the way that it's shaped and made is gonna just look so fucking fine on me like i'm gonna feel like do it like it's my b-day do it like it's my b-day i feel like this with like some really cute little red 90s kitten heels and a scarf a little shoulder scarf oh i'm telling y'all i'll be trying to tell these niggas like give me a reason to wear a dress please I have like two more clothing items so I guess I'll go ahead and show them. One is Milo's and this is so freaking cute because y'all so it's a little long sleeve onesie and it just has this cute pink skull on it with a little bow. Oh my god super adorable. But tell me why the freaking tag says little Milo. I hope y'all can see that. Like how is it that 
me as somebody's mother is shopping and I see this onesie and I'm like I would wear this and then I look at the tag and it's little Milo that's fucking crazy Milo also has an Instagram so y'all go follow her to see all these cute fits little girl Milo next I'm super excited to try this on especially since my hair is now orange ginger it is this super cute dress this brand is called girlfriend by silver silk which is super fire and it was made in Italy it was made in Italy Harry this is so bomb I need somebody to take me on a date but even just to wear this I'm gonna have to just do what I gotta do even to go to Target okay this will be so fire like so fire if y'all could feel the material it's so nice I love that The next thing we have is a hat. This is super fire. Y'all gonna see Roxy some more in like my clothing hauls or even on my Depop. If y'all know Y2K, y'all know Roxy does exist and this is so fire because y'all see the little Hawaiian flower. Like this is gonna be so cute in the winter again with my orange hair. Talk to me nice don't say it twice we'll go ahead and go into the shoes i have these shoes here these are like some little mexican little shout out to mexico sinaloa sandals these are so freaking cute and they're super comfortable like they're just cute cute little sandals cute little chocolates what are those they're my chocolates the next shoe that we have are these these are super cute these are like a sandal which they're making me a little nervous because they look like they're starting to fall apart a bit but they were 549 and it's not nothing crazy it's like maybe a little glue because the bottom itself is pretty good as y'all can see intact but y'all never know you might start walking on the beach and then that shit's gonna be stuck in the sand you're gonna be wondering how your heel turned into flat they are these little silver sandals like things like this are a necessity things like this you can't go wrong in your wardrobe because i'm so tall a cute little heel like that i have no problem with at all like even maybe with this outfit like super easy to jazz it up spruce it up make it seem like i tried give it another little accent you feel me and they're actually steve madden like i should have started off with that first but steve madden we love we love some steve madden I love you Steve. Next we have this belt which I'm so happy because I had a belt similar that I actually was getting rid of but I found it and I'm realizing that I need it in this lifetime because it goes with the aesthetic that I'm trying to go towards. You just wear this hanging off like your little butt or whatever hanging off the waist. Super cute and only $3.99. Next we have these shoes. These were only $3.50. Like wow. Look at that. Sorry y'all. I got my audience back. But $3.50. And these are like. I would call them like clogs. But they're not clogs. Because clogs have like the front covering. But that's like how the bottom is. It's like wooden. Great condition. They're so cute because they have these sequins and like watermelon embroidery and like what is that cherries bananas so i think that's so freaking cute cinderella done found her slipper they're giving what they need to get go get my only fans where i show my toes even the colors on them like i don't even care about the actual like design so we got these earrings again with like the little cowboy look <laughs> You've seen them, but I bought them. Ooh, yeah, there we go. These with the cowboy hat, like, that's a look. Like, it's giving me very much Indian cowboy. So now for the last two items, we have these shoes. And again, I love me a little kitten heel. Denim, you can't go wrong with denim. It all falls together, like the cowboy, denim, stud, sequins like all of it is under the same roof these are so freaking cute as y'all can see it has a little bow and then it has the outline stitching of like beige and they're just so fire and lastly we have this 
purse. This is the bag itself. Not only does it have this for the bottom, and as y'all can see, it's a pretty decent size. Again, nothing too big and bulky. But look at the strap. Do y'all see this? It basically has all these different beads on them. So freaking cute, y'all. Look at this. So freaking cute. And it was only $5. That's when I really loved something when not only was it so fire, but then it had the nerve to be super cheap. This is a dangerous item because if it would have been like 20 bucks, I would have bought it because I knew like this is what I like right now. This is what I'm liking freaking amazing the inside is great great quality you got to make sure you check the inside of the bag it just snaps and that's that that is the end of my freaking haul i hope you guys enjoyed that thank you guys so much for watching as always make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'm a mom out here trying to keep it together and hold it together i got my baby right here she doing the most and it's like y'all i just want to feel the reciprocated support i want y'all to say keep going so i can know like bitch keep doing this shit even though i tell myself that already even if it's one person 10 people 50 40 60 90 100 period all the support all the motivation is so helpful to me Say peace, likes, and comments, and subscribes because that makes it really hard for my mom to record. So when she can record, especially try-ons, just know it takes a lot for her and for me because then I can't play with nobody. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay blessed. And stay humble. Lil Boy Mags is out the junkie. Oh, and make sure to add me on Depop Lil Boy Mags and Instagram Lil Boy Mags and Milo, Lil Girl Milo. Have a good.